What up, Libra gang? Welcome to the extended reading. We'll, we'll take a look at your love life, your career. So let's take a dive into it, all right? Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Please keep in mind that not everything I say may resonate, and what does not resonate for you may resonate for someone else. Okay. Spirit, what's going on in love for Libra? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Let's see what else. And the Two of Swords. Okay. Beautiful energy. We have the Two of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of like in this newfound balance where you're trying to um, like find peace, right? This two of swords, right? There's like a decision being presented here, like some type of choice, Libra. And you're kind of like, it's it seems difficult, but you're stuck in the middle, right? You're kind of like, and eh, you know, should I do this? Should I do that? Like, where can I find the balance here, right? Because you're definitely stuck in the middle. And then with the Seven of Pentacles, you have harvested and received a lot of rewards for your efforts, right? This person is kind of looking at her at her hard work. She's looking into the field, and there's this like this pentacle that just continues, continues, and it goes into the sun, right? And these are your efforts. They're continuing to grow. They're continuing to harvest here. And you have this vision. You have this growth. But what's required here is to have patience, right? She's sitting down. She's being patient because she understands it's progress. It's not perfection, right? And in regard to this with your love life, it seems that you're at, at a bind, right? You're kind of stuck in the middle. Like, I thought this person liked me, right? Do I like this person? Is this reasonable? Is my ex still in my life, right? These are things I'm hearing in my mind. All right. Let's pull more messages in regards to love for Libra. The devil. Ooh. Capricorn energy here with the devil card. Right? There seems to be a lot of secrecy addiction with an ex someone's very obsessed with you right they're a total cheater as well very scandalous they're very codependent on you or like they feel or they remain codependent they're like in a sense kind of materialistic as well they may be abusive like verbally emotionally physically right it's like I don't know, let me read this card for you. Because there's a lot going on in this illustration and I wanna make sure I capture the total message for you. All right, let's see what else, let's see what else. The devil surrounds you like a gilded cage. The night rests around you and your mind is firmly planted in the material world. But the cage has a door that is unlocked and this night will soon come to an end. Right now, you are only seeing half the story. Your desires right now tempt an unfinished version of yourself. Wealth, ego, and sex all draw you in. Try to understand why you want these things and what they will give you. In these questions, secrets will be uncovered, okay? So there seems to be secrecy and a lot of questions but you have to ask yourself, do you really want these things and what will they give you? Okay, what will they give you? All right, with that being said, with that being said, with that being said, um, What's going on in your career and at your work? 
Nine of Torches and the Chariot. Mm, okay. Nine of Torches is like the Nine of Wands in the traditional tarot. You're resilient, right? I mean, you're a hard worker, you're persistent, right? You're really close to success here, right? If you're making like a big purchase for a home or you're looking to like stop renting an apartment and like relocate or find some type of home, it seems that you're getting closer and closer to that because I do see victory here with the chariot. The chariot here is about like overcoming obstacles, um, gaining success, right? You're controlled, you're in control, you're focused, right? Not, not all the time does the driver have control of the chariot, but this one does. Like he's in total control of these lions, right? He's their amo, right? He's their boss, he's their owner. They're loyal to him and they march to the beat of his drum set or her drum set, take it as it resonates. But you see the star at the top, right? This is success, right? This is like willpower, like living in your higher power's will. And you're doing this so effortlessly, right? There's victory here and you seem to do very well in it. So keep that in mind with your career is that, or your work is that you're on this very natural steady path of success. Um, and you seem to either be getting more clientele, more job offers, um, new opportunities, but they're all in your best interest. They're all uh, gonna show you that you're capable of overcoming success. And if you're trying to relocate, there's also a big uh, chance that that will be successful as well. As I say that, it was 7-11 at the clock. So look up angel number 7-11. All right, let me see. Let me look into... The angels, the angels, the romance angels. And let's see what they have for you. For Libra, ooh. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, okay? So if there's someone that you're interested in, maybe it's, um, maybe it would be of help to honestly discuss your feelings for each other. or honestly discuss your feelings or lack of feelings for each other. If this is like an ex or someone from the past, blast from the past that just won't go away. But then we also have soulmate. So if you're wondering if the person that you like is your soulmate, your angels say that yes, this is your soulmate. Let's pull one more card for shits and giggles. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, okay? So this is that happiness, that success uh, that I was talking about. Um, you seem to be doing really well in all areas of your life right now, Libra. It looks really good on you. I'm happy for you. Continue with this because it's like, it's, it's, pa it's passion, it's fire. It looks super good on you. Um, <laughs> But with that being said, Libra, um, let me pull a animal spirit card for you. Let's see what your animal spirit is, Libra. Libra member. Thank you so much for being a continued legacy on this channel. see where you stand with your animal spirit the frog cute little frog this is a water sign water element okay so it's clearing cleansing and healing 
The frog and the water element are almost inseparable. The frog spends its first months of life entirely within this healing element and then emerges to rest on land. But no matter how earthly the frog becomes, its need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. Frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished, so it's vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care. This card serves as a reminder that water helps us cleanse, forgive, and release. Time to dive in. Frogs aren't meant to carry a heavy load. When in balance, clear energy and enthusiasm for life. When out of balance, depleted, running on empty. To bring back into balance, a lake, a river, an ocean, or a bath house. Ooh, okay. With that being said, Libra, if this message resonated, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what resonates. Don't forget to look up your angel number 711. Uh, throw it in the comment section. Let me see what you got. With that being said, much love. Stay true, stay blessed, stay pure um, until your next reading.